we have a team that come down from Swindon who have um, two breast doctors um, who come down and they interpret the x-rays. I can take the mammograms um, and we have another um, lady who comes down with the team so we will take the images and then they'll be reported by the doctors who come down. That's when the big screens happen. When the smaller screens happen we send the images away to them and they report remotely. We screen a little bit earlier than the NHS do. We start at 47 rather than 49 and we stop at 74 but obviously if ladies want to opt in after 74 then as long as we have spaces then we will facilitate that as well. And it must be quite anxiety inducing to know that a lump has been found and then potentially have to wait to go away to have yeah. that mammogram and then wait Completely. for the results. Completely. So. And it, it's expensive. You don't have your support network when, well, you often don't have your support network. So I think, you know, if we can do as much as we can in the islands, it's a huge benefit to ladies. It can be thought of as being a painful experience. I'm not going to say it's not painful because it is uncomfortable. But, you know, it's for a very short period of time. We're always open to someone to come in and have a look or have a chat. If you still feel that it's not for you, that's fine as well. But, you know, just it's really important to just check your breasts and make sure that, you know, you, you notice your changes. So for the routine um, screening mammograms, we just get a lady to come in and we do both breasts in turn. The first time we stand the lady facing the machine and we just add a little bit of compression. We'd always stay with the lady as we're doing this and um, we can just manually add to what we need to and then we screen in that position for each breast and then we will rotate because that goes straight down through the breast and then we will turn the machine so that we can get a second view where the lady will stand in this position and the breast will come forward to here. And again, we'll add the compression down. And then we just add a little bit of pressure there. And then we take the mammogram like that and we'll do both sides just like that. And then as long as there's, there's nothing that we're wanting to see further, that will be us finished. That's probably the case for three quarters of ladies. A few more we'll want to do additional views on, but again, the majority of them will then be um, discharged afterwards and we're able to just say, no, that's fine. And there's a very small percentage which will obviously maybe need to go on and just have little biopsies done, done locally. I think breast cancer is one of those things that it's, it's very hard for people, you know, sometimes to come forward to start with, to say, oh, I've got a lump. You know, we're quite happy to see ladies. We're quite happy to ultrasound, mammogram, whatever they need. You know, there's, there's no little lump that's, you know, not worth being checked out. It's always worth coming along to have, you know, have things checked.